Hey guys, Eileen Vick here for Adult Coloring, and guess what we're going to talk about today? I'll give you three guesses. Oh, look at that, three cats. Yes, 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 yes. We're talking about an adult coloring book based around cats, and it's funny. I wasn't expecting this book. I hadn't ordered it, but a while back I bought a coloring book for a friend of mine, also about cats, and she was so excited about it, and so I guess she decided to return the favor, and when I got up this morning and checked the mail, it was sitting out there out on my porch, and I was delighted beyond words. So, it's a really nice book, very quality. Um, the binding is great. Now, the reason that it's stretched out like that and poofed out is because I've gone through and opened the book so it'll lay flat. So, normally it doesn't lay that flat. There's the back of it. Let me zoom in here. This book is from Europe, as you can see. So that's why I was really surprised to get it, because apparently she had ordered it about three, four weeks ago, and it just came today. So I want to page through it real quick and show it to you. It's a nice little book, very high quality. It's got a flap here that opens up so you can color more stuff and more cats and of course it's got this to color lots of nice little stuff here's the opening page you know typical put your name but again full-sized illustrations that you can go ahead and color if you wish so I'm going to page through for you this is one of the cutest books I've ever seen. And you'll have to forgive me here because the pages tend to stick together, so there's going to be a lot of flipping. Anyway, so there's the next page. Lots of little cats to color in different positions. Doesn't look like there's too much repetition on here, which that's what bugs me, but that's just me. And away we go. There's the first page. Beautiful. Beautiful line drawing. I mean, just, just love it. But anyway, here's the theme. Bamboo. Here's a cat drinking with a neat reflection. Just clever illustrations. I love this one. The cat's on the chessboard. Pretty neat. Theme. Cats with birds. <laughs> Licking its tongue. Apparently it got one. And then, of course, the birds with the cat in the cage. And again, this is one of those books that when you look at it for a while, it shows you new stuff, and I love that. Beautiful, beautiful book. Pages are very heavy, substantial. I haven't colored it in them. I don't know about markers yet, so that's information to be given later. Beautiful themed themes on them. Just a cute book. I love it. One thing I noticed, and you know, this is just me, is the feathers kind of remind me of leaves. Feathers, excuse me. Fur reminds me of leaves, so I'm probably going to adjust that a little bit with my Stabler pens, but I'll maybe add some more lines in there. You know me by now, I like to do that with my books. Here's a neat little page for our reading aficionados. Reading Mavens. Now, as you can see, these um, illustrations are two-sided, but I'm thinking because of the weight of the paper, it's not going to be too much of an issue, but with anything, always check your markers and stuff before you color. That page is going to be gorgeous. You can do a lot of 3D effects with the bricks if you decide to take the time. And I'm thinking that the people that drew this book have cats because they really...
caught the mannerisms of them. Take a second for you to look at that. This is one of my favorite pages. This is probably the one I'm going to start at. For anybody that owns cats, you know this happens a lot. Especially when you're in a hurry to the bathroom, they know exactly how to get underfoot. Excuse me, love the detail. And for coloring, for example, on these um, cushions, I can see doing some uh, shading to make this look like it's got depth on it. So that'll be fun to do also. <coughs> I am so sorry, excuse me. So cute. Actually, I would have been. I would have thought that they may may have um, had the illustration to make it look like the guy was accidentally putting the cat's tail around his neck as his tie, but that's just me. <coughs> Excuse me. For those of you that like repetitive patterns, got that. This one's amusing. Look at the expression. About to pounce. Cat sleeping. Is that? I had a little um, post on my Facebook. One, two, three. Bad idea. Showing a cat, a kitten, about to pounce a, a mother cat who was sleeping. <clears throat> it was pretty funny. Love the illustrations. <clears throat> There's a lot you can do with these eyes. The cat eyes. If you like to do in-depth stuff. Oh, my voice is going to sound funny from here on out. All right. Love this one. Cat with the piano keys. Beautiful. I don't think I've hit an illustration yet that I wouldn't color. Just so cute. I'm going to wait a minute on this one because there's they're pretty in-depth. A lot of detail. Give you a chance to figure out what's going on. Oh, shoes maybe? Okay. Ah, pillow going across. All right. So that's the theme, kind of an Indian theme there. I hope you're enjoying this book. Thank you, Susan, for the book. <clears throat> This will be gorgeous, doing all the leaves and then doing all the cats. Let me pop down to a couple of cats here. Oh, poor little putty, afraid. Yeah, in there. And it's funny, again, this is one of those things, too, is you just got to really look, and things will come up. Beautiful book. I'm going to wait a minute on this and see if you can see what's going on with this one. It's pretty funny. You got it? The answer is the owl face is on the cat. Cat face is on the owl. I thought that was cute. And again, it takes a second to take in what's going on. Cat's chasing the bird, feathers, got one feather, bird got away, minus one feather it looks like. Love this one. Just love it. 
if you could pull it off and have the patience I could see you know you do the yarns different colors and then as you're coloring the individual lines to whatever ball it goes through you'll have to check and see if it goes to one or the other but I could see adding a little bit of shading behind these um, yarn threads yarn <laughs> to make it stand out from the page cute Ah, catnip tea. Ha, ah, that's a joke. All right, I know, bad joke. The sense of humor by these artists is phenomenal, as shown by this page. I love it. I could see dulling the, you know, when you do the water here, dulling the color of the cat a little bit to show like it's behind water. Now, I'll be honest, on this one I had little mixed feelings about it because of it showing cats hanging by their tails. Um, you know, animal abuse, but that's just me. I'm a little sensitive to that. But that's okay. You know, it's got the cat hanging around and... They look like they're happy, so we're okay. I could see drawing in fur for these if you want to go that far with it and then doing different colored cats. Love this one too, the kites. So cute. Again, very imaginative. I don't know how many pages are in this book. I'll give you a page count. These are hidden cats in there. Took me a second to find them. Oh, look at that little guy at the bottom peeping up. Cute. Oh, look at that. Didn't notice that earlier. Clever. Hide it in the leaves. And that'll be Vicky coming up the stairs and her bell rattling again. Cute. funny how the ones with the tail bother me, but the one with them hanging by the ears didn't. I didn't really think about that, but hey. <laughs> Again, that's just me. Love this one. This is just going to be so colorful. And then there's a continuation of it on the other page. A natural fit. Cats in Egypt. I guess. Yeah, Egypt. There's the pyramids. This book is just, I you know, it's going to be fun coloring, but the illustrations are fun. That's what I really love about it. That's going to be fun. It's all going to be fun. There's the next one. And let's see, we're almost to the end here. And I'll hang a second here just so that you can take a look at it and get a good idea what's going on. Cute. Love it. How many times have I said cute? Okay, and then the thing here too is in the back of the book is a little miniature of all the drawings that we just went through. Not exactly sure why they put that in there, but I suppose if you wanted to, you could color them. Um, leave that up to you. It's your book. Have fun. Well, this is my book, but you know what I mean. And there would be the end of it here. And here's a continuation of the front cover that folds out with the flap. And here is the back. 
Let me do one thing here. I'm going to open this full in the back. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Yeah, there you go. There's the front and the back. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the review. Have fun with it. And keep on coloring. Bye.